Hi everyone, this is Sheridan Marfil and I'm here to talk to you about Giving Tuesday and Shout at Life. So if you're unfamiliar with Giving Tuesday, um, Giving Tuesday it was this December 3rd of this year and it's a day designated to um, have people give back to their favorite charity or cause, particularly because they're after Thanksgiving, there's Black Friday, Cyber Monday, everything is, is around um, shopping and retail and uh, we Giving Tuesday was designed to give get the give back into the holiday season. So um, brief, uh, I guess, refresher on the Shot at Life network. So um, we have the Shot at Life staff, the champions, um, bloggers, and partners, and they all are here to get the word out to the public and Congress. And so our champions um, are our strongest supporters and they volunteer their time, social media accounts, et cetera, to support child vaccinations worldwide. Um, so of course for Giving Tuesday, for Shot at Life, we definitely wanted to leverage their commitment and um, support and of course their influence to the cause and getting the word out. So again, here are some of their members. Their moms, dads, students, children, and anyone that cares about the importance of childhood vaccines. So um, for their champions, and I'll get into what, what was sent to them kind of for social media, but we wanted them to to basically give back on Giving Tuesday in a way of getting the word out for sh about Shout Out Life. And also if they could get some donations, that'd be really great as well. So the goals for Giving Tuesday for Shot at Life was we wanted some celebrity endorsement of Shot at Life. Um, it's something that we've kind of struggled with. We have a couple spokespeople for Shot at Life, but no one that's really uh, championed um, other than a couple. We just really wanted people to get behind uh, just our campaign and um, obviously donations. So for, for strategy, we wanted to build awareness and then educate others about Giving Tuesday and Shot at Life. Um, kind of cultivating, like I said, donations were a goal, but we wanted to cultivate people to, to get their support later on. So just kind of get that awareness and get the word out on what Shot at Life is. So tactics for Giving Tuesday. Uh, we partnered with diapers.com to promote uh, and donate for purchases made on their site. So they uh, set up a shopping code, a unique promo code. So for every $50 you spent, one vaccine would be donated to a child in need. And um, we were fortunate enough for them to, for, uh, to kind of create some cr collateral for us and promote this through their channels. Um, and it actually is really great for Shot at Life just because we're so mom focused, so children's focused. So this was an excellent partnership for us. Um, we emailed Shot at Life champions and spectators. So these are people who tweet about uh, Shot at Life and tweet about the issues that we cover, but not necessarily um, haven't taken the plunge into becoming a champion for Shot at Life or, or actually actively using their voice for Shot at Life. And the toolkit included a general overview on what Giving Tuesday was, uh, some sample tweets, Facebook posts, and unselfies. And I'll get into what an unselfie is um, when I show you the toolkit. Um, wrote a blog post leading up to Giving Tuesday, telling people about the diapers.com promotion and asking them to spread the word. And then actually on Giving Tuesday, we were, I was heavily on Twitter, actually, uh, for about 13 hours of straight tweeting. Um, just about Giving Tuesday and what we were doing and just our cause. Um, and also we participated in a Twitter chat um, that was focused on moms and philanthropy. So again, that was something that was very uh, uh, useful for us. And this was something that someone, that one of the mom bloggers that we have worked with, she's not, she's not a Shot at Life champion, um, was hosting for us. So again, partnered with diapers.com. Here is the creative that they provided for us. And we put this on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, uh, and kind of promoted this heavily and as well as diapers.com. And it was very shareable. So other people pro uh, did this too. Um, here is the blog post about uh, our Giving Tuesday partnership with diapers.com. So this was on, it is on our website. So it was actually a week before um, Giving Tuesday. We teased it out and then again promoted this on social media. We also asked our champions and everybody else to share it. And then um, 
let me back out of here and talk about this toolkit. So this was a toolkit that I created for, um, like I said, Shot at Life Champion Champions and Spectators. So here it's like, it gives you an overview of Giving Tuesday. Um, how, what, our partnership with diapers.com and what, what they were providing for us. And then these are sample tweets. So this, I actually do a lot for our, our any campaign that we're running. I like to create these toolkits for our champions and for any of, I actually circulate around the office as well. Um, it's really helpful because it's, it's kind of an easy way to just get the word out. Someone could just copy and paste into Twitter and then there you go. Um, you can control the messaging around it. Uh, and like I said, it's very seamless and easy. Um, here is information about the Giving Tuesday Twitter party that Mom at Forward hosted um, about moms and philanthropy. So we participated in that. And then we wanted others to participate. So Unselfie was uh, something that Giving Tuesday was organizing. And basically, you take an unselfish selfie, um, take a photo of yourself holding a sign or doing something showing that you're giving, and you upload it to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and tag it with Unselfie and Giving Tuesday. So we wanted to make sure that they were aware of that. Um, whether or not they were going to give to Shot at Life or, or anything just so that they could participate. So let me go back to my presentation here. So the, here is Shot at Life's Twitter on Giving Tuesday. This is just a quick snapshot of what um, tweets we were doing. So here is um, this, the Twitter party that we are participating in. Um, obviously, Mom at Ford was asking questions um, that were not necessarily all about Shot at Life because, you know, the, the topic was very vague, but we were able to participate in it. Chrisula right here is a Shot at Life champion, and she was participating in the Twitter chat. And as you can see, she's talking about how her kids donated to Shot at Life, um, donated their birthdays and uh, to Shot at Life. So uh, she has a really great following and a strong network. So it's awesome that she participated in this Twitter party and mentioned Shot at Life. Um, so this is our Facebook uh, before and on Giving Tuesday. Again, here is the blog post that was written. Um, and then here, I again, I said here is that cute little graphic that was created, and then we changed our cover page to match uh, the Giving Tuesday cover page um, for that day. And on Selfie, um, on Selfie was really great and it was a great campaign that Giving Tuesday was doing just because it provided a lot of content for us actually. So I was able to regram, these are a couple of our champions, um, regram some of the unselfies that were taken, especially the ones that mentioned Shout at Life. Up here is Debbie Thomas. She is the director of um, the Shout at Life campaign and she posted an unselfie to kind of get the ball rolling for everybody else. So what was the results? Um, the website visits to Shot at Life tripled. Um, normally, we only get around 200 visits a day. Um, on Giving Tuesday, shotatlife.org garnered 768 visits, according to Google Analytics. So that was fantastic that people were coming to our website and more so um, getting more information about what we do. So for Facebook, we actually lost 16 fans. Um, our Giving Tuesday posts all together garnered 63 likes, five shares, and three comments. And the highest engaged post that we got was Debbie's and Selfie. Um, that, I think, got 38 likes and a couple shares just from that. And, and it makes sense because people know um, that she's, she is a strong part of the campaign. People like her. She is a young mom herself, so people really um, identify with her. On Twitter, and this is from Social Flow and Topsy, we gained 16 new followers, so it wasn't, wasn't too great, um, but we did get 252 mentions, and then over 150 of these used giving, hashtag Giving Tuesday, so 
Um, I'll get into how big giving to the hashtag giving Tuesday was in my next slide. Um, so this was fantastic that people were mentioning us and using that hashtag. Um, we got 42 retweets and 171 clicks on various links that we provided. Most of them actually went to diapers.com. A couple went to our donate page, but we really wanted to push people um, to use that code on diapers.com. Um, 18 on selfies mentioned a shot at life, which is really, really great and cute. And then obviously one of our goals, we received $3,000 in donations, which um, was okay. So looking at these numbers, uh, I, and this is something that I knew, but it's something that we can't really help. When we post too much around one subject or on one day, our Facebook users are completely turned off and we get a lot of unfollows. So even though Giving Tuesday was huge and, and there was a lot of uh, chatter around it, our audience was kind of sick about hearing it by the time, um, you know, towards the end of the day with Giving Tuesday. Um, donation wise, we didn't receive that many. We actually did about the same as we, as Shot uh, Left did about the same as they did last year. A lot of it was because uh, our audience, I felt, was was confused. Um, having Diapers.com come in as a partner was really, really great. Um, however, like I said, <laughs> with our network and our champions, not everybody is a mom. We have a strong audience that uh, identifies with, uh, you know, that are mommy bloggers and identifies with moms. However, they are not completely our audience. And um, even if you are a mom, you don't necessarily have a child in diapers. So that was a very, very weird push for us. Um, again, even though people tweeted about Shot at Life a lot on Giving Tuesday, they didn't actually follow us. And I think that's becoming more and more of I feel um, a trend I've been seeing on Twitter. I guess if people can feel can feel something strongly about your campaign, but they don't necessarily want to hear from you all the time. Um, we received a lot of promises from celebrities to tweet, but it didn't happen. So Sasha Alexander of Rizzoli and Isle, I think that's her show, Rizzoli and Isles, um, said that she would do some tweets around Giving Tuesday, and she actually mentioned our sister campaign and did not mention us. Um, Amanda Pete said she would post, try to post something on Facebook. It didn't happen. Um, and Gettys, uh, the photographer in Australia, she wrote an email for us on Giving Tuesday, but did not want to do it, uh, did not want to turn it into a blog post for some reason, and also promised to do an end selfie and then had to get pulled on a plane and couldn't do it. Um, and speaking of end selfies, they were awesome. As I said, that they provided quick content. We were able to regram. Um, which you know was great because photos are always really, really great for social media. So even though we didn't have a lot of unselfies to post, other people did and, and people really appreciated that Shot at Life um, regrammed their <laughs> unselfie. So next step, so here on the right is an infographic created by Giving Tuesday on what happened on December 3rd, just a quick glimpse. So as you can see, it was, it was used 269 times over 24 hours, and then uh, Giving Tuesday was tweeted 700 times per minute. So if you go, if I go back to that previous sli um, slide about how we were mentioned uh, over 150 times with Shot at Life, like that's huge considering um, how many times Giving Tuesday was used. Um, so we're going to continue to participate in Giving Tuesday. This is kind of a no-brainer being a nonprofit and a cause. It makes sense to want to get the word out and get the give out around um, our cause or on Giving Tuesday. How The big step is that we're going to reevaluate a partner for next year. Perhaps if we use diapers.com, maybe a matching campaign would make more sense as opposed to people shopping because I think the message was lost that we were trying to get people to give on Giving Tuesday and then again, and instead of, you know, buying, and but we were pushing people to buy on diapers.com for them to give back. So I think it was a weird call to action for our... Um, people and just the public in general. So I hope you enjoyed and it was lovely um, being in this class this semester. Thank you.